Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Professional interview, take one. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Savage Saturdays here on the Drinking Bros podcast. I'm your host, Derek Whita. Joining me, as always, it's Owen. Your hat is backwards today. I we can don't fix that. We don't see that too often. There it is. Yeah. There's Owen. Also, yeah, today, we have a special guest joining us on late notice. Thank you for coming. Her name is Mindy Robinson. Hello, Mindy. How are you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing good. I've had a. I'm doing good. Thank you. I've had a long day so far, but I'm excited for tonight. Yep. We've got a couple podcasts lined up. Um, I'm excited about this podcast because you are running. You're running for office. I am, sir. I'm you, running for CD3. That's Southern Nevada. So that's going to be everything from Southern Sutherland all the way down to the end of Nevada. All right, to make things easy for the next hour or so, pretend you're talking to an idiot because you are. <laughs> right. So CD3. Yes. What does that mean? District 3, Congressional District, District 3. So there's four districts in the state of Nevada. Uh, I live in Southern Nevada and I wanted to represent it. I, I wanted to help my community. Okay, very cool. I um, Have you ever thought about running for office? Never. Or, it's never crossed your like, mind? It's crossed my mind, but when, when you start getting into like people's opposition research, like I'm... Yeah. I just think they'd find horrible Dude, stuff that's, that that's I'd so, never, I'd be like, oh, fuck, I did do that. Yeah, so for <laughs> me, it. I actually thought about running for, I thought it would be funny to run for president. And just because of the way social media is, a hundred people would vote for me At to least. be the leader of the free world. At least. And so I thought it would be funny to do that. But yeah, when they dig into um, your history, everybody has a history. We're going to learn about an interesting History, I think later, but uh, you know, but yeah, it's it's dangerous. So you're 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 running for office, Mindy Robinson, CD three, and and I asked you before the show mm -hmm. if that means like state level, because states have Congress. They they do, but this is actually a federal position. It'd right. be like AOC, but I'd right. you know, actually cool. have a brain. Ex yeah, <laughs> all right. Like don't you, like you really have to separate yourself. Like I'm not a hateful person, and I try to understand um, the people that represent us. There's some that I don't. AOC is one of them. And I try not right. to talk poorly about people, but that one, when you're that unreasonable, I think. I think yeah, when you think socialism yeah. is a good idea, you're probably not working you lost uh, me. on 100%. Yeah. Right. Right there. yeah. Cool. So um, before we get into talking about, um, uh, you know, running for office and America and things like that, I just want, who are you? Who am I? Who oh, are you? Where, 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 where are you there. from? Yeah. Uh, I'm actually from New England. I oh. moved out about 20 years ago. I spent some time in California. Obviously, I did Range 15. Yeah. Uh, I I was brought onto that movie very early on, and it just got bigger and bigger, and it was really exciting. It was like your baby growing up, and, and just filming it and all the love I've gotten to this day from it. Uh, it's probably my favorite project. That's cool. So you're from New England. Yeah. I have do an you, accent. I'm always hiding it. Do you like the Patriots? Why does everyone ask that? I'm because like, I like the Patriots and I'm not from New England. And I get a lot of hate for my love for Tom Brady. He's on my DNR. Oh, <laughs> is he? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, what's funny is I never watched football. And then I started <laughs> watching football yeah. and I started rooting for the Patriots. This was in 29 Palms. This is how long ago that was. Long story. And everyone's like, they've never won. They never did anything ever. So they were the underdog. Yeah. And I rooted for them. Everyone thought I was nuts. And then they won. They yeah. won the Super Bowl that year. And now it's funny because everyone like hates them because they're good. I'm like, well, yeah, they're good. Like, sorry about that. Yeah. So, so like I catch flack because I'm kind of like a, a bandwagon Patriots fan. But I, I fell in love with the Patriots in 2007. I was living in um, or that I got shot in 2007. So I was inpatient in the hospital. And that's the year that they went undefeated. And so it was like something for me to watch. And, right. I, and that's <laughs> that's when I fell in love with the Patriots. And now but Tom Brady's gone now. And I don't, and I, it's like, now that Tom's gone is my love for the Patriots. Did I like, was it just, did Tom I like, or was it did I like the team? Patriots or did I like Tom Brady? Sorry, we're getting sidetracked. I, no, I like, it's like, it's the most patriotic. Know. I mean, that's the other thing I like that. I'm a yeah. little bit patriotic yeah. and they're mm -hmm. the Patriots. There's nothing yeah. more patriotic no, that's than a, that. That's it's a, in the word. Right? It's certainly an interesting, I love going to the Northeast um, coast because, because like that's, that's kind of like where America grew up and there's a lot of history there and a different vibe and atmosphere. I like- It's a certain kind of people. Uh, my yeah. campaign manager is also from Massachusetts and it's funny, like you, if you don't like someone, you don't talk to them. If you like someone, you screw with them forever. Like you're, you say the meanest, you know, whatever it is. It's like- Like the military. Yeah, but yes. Yeah. But yeah, civilians and it's just a way of life, but you always say what you're gonna do. You don't lie on people. It's like a certain old fashioned, 
you know, kind of person to be. And it just works really well. It's a work ethic. It's a lot of other things. And it, it pays off, especially out here when people get a little little easier out here. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm i very much that way where, um, you know, maybe I'll say some some mean things to someone they're like, do you not like me? I was like, if I didn't like you, I wouldn't talk to you. That's what like, I, I say. Don't, like, if I'm giving you my time, it's because yes. I like you. And like, that doesn't mean I'm not going to make you hurt sometimes, <laughs> but I, I like you, you know, that's a, it's, you know, that's being, how being you know honest like and being, yeah. That, Honesty, that kinda, that's yeah. the thing. And I had to learn mm -hmm. how to talk. When I moved out to California originally 20 years ago. Uh, I had to learn how to talk again. I had to learn how to, I would talk like this, like, hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? This is what, and people, I'd be at, you know, they'd be like, where'd you get your cocaine? I'm like, yeah. no, oh no, <laughs> yeah. I talk way too fast. Yeah. So I'm always trying to actively slow down. And I had to like, learn how to talk. You have yeah. to like be nice at the end. Well, normally be like, yeah, whatever. Like yeah. It, it's so different and I don't, follow it as well as I do. It I think gets, I sound Southern cause I'm always trying to talk slower. It gets perceived as rude sometimes. It's not that, rude, being but it, real. But I, I, I like, like it, no, I, I understand, it. but it gets like- It's better I, than fakery. Like people say, I feel like people in California say nice things, but their tone and you're like, they don't mean it. I'm like, ah, oh, I'd rather you just yell at me, whatever. I'm from, <laughs> I'm from Minnesota and up there it's called Minnesota nice, but really it just means passive aggressive. Right. <laughs> like that's like, you know, so like I have this, it's in my, I'm, passive aggressive, like, or, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm non-confrontational. Mm -hmm. If something's my fault, I'll say, oh, sorry. You know, I didn't mean to, uh, sorry. You know, yeah. You know, <laughs> so yeah, it's funny. Sorry. So, um, what made you move all the way across the United States you know, 20 I, I, years I ago? I might've been married to a Marine at one point in my oh. life. What's the 29 palms? Yeah. I, I got better. I've made that mistake. Yeah. You were you married know. to a Marine? Yeah, man. Well, a guy, you know, like we, we, <laughs> it, was, it was, it was, it was a financial. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I've never been married to a, uh, uh, a Marine now. Okay. So, um, New England, California. Um, what's the last, what would you go to do schooling jobs? <laughs> yeah, years? All that stuff. yeah uh, just, just fill us in. Give us a brief. Yeah, um, who are you? I went to college. I studied political science and American history. Oh, no and I never shit. thought I would use it. I, I was a researcher, did a bunch of things and I fell into the TV stuff, which I was good at. Like right. I, it involves improv. You have to be brave. Right. You have to pretend things are there when they're not. Like it takes a certain kind of personality and it's actually a job. Like I don't think people realize that. Oh. Right. It's a 13 hour day. It's cold, but you got to pretend it's hot. Like it takes a lot. And if you can succeed at that and show up and do your job, you're going to keep getting hired. Granted, I never did the studio films, but I'm also not evil. Yeah. Uh, you know, something <laughs> like that. But obviously I fell into the independent film and I did a lot of comedy and then that grew out of that. And, but I've always been talking politics. Yeah. And so I noticed like I had a platform, but my platform, people only really paid attention to it when I was talking politics. I'm like, what's going on? And I realized, you know, with the election and Trump had happened, I was able to kind of explain things uh, that, you know, people didn't know what the electoral college was, you know, right. you know, constantly. And I would also do it with humor because the news yeah. can be very depressing. And I would mean, just be like, be. It, <laughs> it is, it is 100% depressing. Like, yeah. Oh my God, the world is ending. Be like, and then this, like yeah. there's always a way to deliver something that's a little less depressing. And so I would do that. And that's kind of how the page grew. They, they both grew kind of, I get kicked off one, I'd work on the other one. I mean, I've been banned like 10 times just for being a conservative, but I've always been vocal. And I think it came across as rare to see a Hollywood actress that would, you know, do a veteran film and have fun and, and say sure. the things that I did and not do the other yeah. things that people wanted me doing, to. Doing range 15 and running for serious political office right. puts you in like a category of one. Don't give Tim right. Kennedy is, any ideas. Is, oh, it's gonna right, be Senator right, or yeah. something, you know. <laughs> well, like, with that, like, I, well, that, that would be great. I'll, um, just real quick, I, I don't, I, I'm not, I pay attention to politics, but I just don't, I don't vote anymore. I haven't voted. I know, I'll t but I'll tell you, like, I feel, I, I'll, I'll tell you. This but, is why the state is blue. I, but I feel like, but for like, my, my thing is, is I, I just don't feel represented. But now some people are coming up and out and I'm like, oh, I feel represented by this person. And also I think in recent, you know, recent events, it's like, all right, maybe I should start paying a little bit more attention and just voting. I don't Take, have to talk taking about, some action. I don't have to talk about things or I'm not going to change the world, but maybe I can cast my vote or something like that. But it was so, literally a mail in ballot. Real, you just had to mail it back. Right. There's this like people that know me. I have an issue with paperwork. If it was easier, <laughs> it's if like, it was easier, I mean, do, can I just text my vote in? You're like, what's Nevada's number? Like, no, I <laughs> just, yeah. But it is it's important. Like, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. The uh, left but, but has like, weaponized idiocy and we kind of have to make up for that. They've got yeah. a bunch of people listening to CNN and a bunch of things. It, you could confront them with the truth and they wouldn't believe it. That's what we're up against. Yeah. And, you know, conservatives are going to vote conservative. Liberals are going to vote liberal. You're always trying to 
get the people in the middle to vote your way, really, at the end of the day. Yeah. And the way you do that is with education and information, which is yeah. why the left controls media. But and it also, can be kind of hard, but social media can be how you make up for that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, CNN post a fake clip. I'm going to call it out. Other people are going to call it out. They get called out. They look bad. Repeat. And that's how you fight fake news. And that's probably why I'm always getting banned and a lot of other people. Yeah. Dan but, Crenshaw but, does a really good job of using his social media to, to explain things that are happening, but then also follow up with and be like, here's what this means. <laughs> so it's not yeah. just the talking point of like, here's what's being, you know, put, you know, brought to Congress or whatever. It's like, here's, here's the, the consequence of this. If it, if it gets passed or and whatever. And they make those bills complicated on purpose. Oh, like yeah, if you like do. read a court paper, you're like, is this English? Like it's just right. really complicated. And they do that on purpose because right. they don't want regular common people reading it. But yes. Oh, uh, it's like, you know, poor people couldn't read the Bible a long time ago because it Bible's was just still hard the, to read. It's, it's tricky. <laughs> yeah, like, right, you're always yeah. like, you're going back <laughs> but in they, time. Like, but they legit weren't allowed to read. Yeah. So, yeah. um, uh, uh, so you went to school for political, that's Dead. an interesting, that's an interesting decision. Why? Well, I would like, were you from like a political family? No, no. Okay. So like, that's why there wasn't a lot of politics like, in why, the house why did, or anything. Well, you started with the history. Right. I love history. Yeah, I was I one of those cool. nerdy kids. I, I watched PBS and then the history channel came out back when they actually did history. When it right. was now good. I believe aliens are real because yeah. I watch it so yeah, much. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're coming. They're I don't want to watch truckers. Tell me about the universe. <laughs> Come on. You know, like, yeah. But I loved history. To yeah. me, there's like, why learn stories? Why read literature when I could learn from real instances? And, and that kind of came from that. And then the political side, I just had so many credits. It was Joshua Tree. Just so many credits being stuck at 29 Palms before I moved on that I ended up getting two. And I never really thought about it. Uh, I wanted to be a history professor. I didn't get into grad school and all that stuff. But it was a knowledge that was there. And I'm, I'm, it's knowledge I'm glad I had. Mm -hmm. Because there are certain things, and I don't think people understand a history degree. It, my job is to find primary sources and only use primary sources. Write you know, a research paper. You can't use inflammatory language. You can't, you know, all that other stuff. And you think, okay, I mean, that's how I learned to write. But now when I read articles these days by the mainstream media, I'm like, what? The no, no, that's mis that's a fallacy. Like you're just going through and you're like, this yeah. looks like a fake. I can tell within seconds that it's not written right. Yeah. So something happened in journalism. Well, I know what happened. The indoctrination started. I, I went to Cal State, San Bernardino, and I saw a huge indoctrination. What does that mean, indoctrination in journalism? Like, I, had to, I know I was forced it's to fucked, take a, I was forced to take a class about, and I remember the first day, they were like, white people are wrong, they're bad, we have to do reparations, no one can be racist toward white people. And I, I raised my hand, it was a huge class. I'm like, I'm like, I got, I got screamed at on the way here, hey, white girl, hey, Paris Hilton, because that was a thing at the time, like, uh, white girl, I'm like, that's not racist, no. I'm like, how? And they go, well, you weren't. You have to be in a position of power to assert racism on someone. I'm like, well, I'm outnumbered by four people. I felt, you know, it was just, I walked out. Yeah. I walked out, it was a mandatory class. I showed up to do like the midterm and the final, got my only C. Yeah. And, but that's when it began. And that was 15 Your years ago. I got yeah. a car for It was me and the GI C's. guys, they, uh, <laughs> cause they're on the GI bill. We, we were all older. We don't want to hang out with the 20 year olds. So, yeah. you know, we just, we walked out of class. Yeah. I don't even know what happened. I, but that's what I mean by indoctrination. When yeah. you see kids come out and they think communism works, you're like, what are they teaching you? And yeah. it's, it's this, I think it's the no. professors. You get a degree in gender studies. What are you going to do with it in the real world? You don't, you go back and you teach other people to be idiots. Basically. It's, um, you know, it's, but you know, it's it, the, the, the kids take all the blame now, like the 19, like where they take all the, or people are like, oh, these kids these days, blah, blah, blah. But they're learning it from somewhere. And that's actually like, I, I, didn't finish my degree. I was go. I was um, a psychology major, and when I transferred schools, I just decided not to go anymore because I was tired of. I mean, I didn't really have to. Um, I was just. I was tired of listening to that weak ass mindset shit that you're talking about. I couldn't. I didn't want to be around it. You know, it's so like, unnecessary. Oh, yeah. Like when people are like, oh, you're gonna go to college? Do you do a trade? Right. Yeah. I mean, you'll you'll never see an electrician out of work or anything like that. Not, not right. really. Because I was find learn work. how to weld. I was on the GI Fix bill. escalators. You always see broken escalators. That's like a theory I have. But one out of every four escalators <laughs> you see is broke. Like, what a job! You could work <laughs> yeah. in perpetuity if you just knew how to fix these things. Yeah. No. I, yeah. <laughs> I I dropped out of school and I was like, I'm just gonna try at life. And then if I fail at that, I can always go back to school or something like that. There's always bridges to yeah. just live right under them, mm -hmm. rent free. So rent okay, free. so you you so so you um, <laughs> film and act, I liked how you said that improv is work. You know, like you know what's like that shit takes practice, man. Yep. Does it? I would. Well, it it's a it's a it's a, you know people have a natural tact for it, but you can get better at it by practicing, right? Like open yeah. mic nights and improv Timing. and things Timing like that. Timing something you kind of learn right. during. You have yeah. to. You'll lose timing yeah. right away if you don't keep up with your stand up. 
And that's yeah. like the hard thing for me because I'm a fast talker. I mm -hmm. want to get it. But you ruin the joke if you, you know, yeah. people don't understand it. But improv, I got practice doing reality TV and everyone made fun of me. And the thing is they don't want to hire actors to do these shows, but you would see the submissions. And the whole thing is like, have you done a reality show? Is it out? I'm like, no. And I did 30 of them before any of them came out. <laughs> and there was a time where like, I was on like every channel at least once a week. I did every show and it was just improv. Yeah. And for me, that was practice. And I would get there with other actors and they'd be all frozen up and weird. I'm like, well, what's wrong with you, bro? Cause that's why I'd always get showcased. I'd be back for the finale. And like so many reality shows, I was back for the finale. Mm -hmm or the whole time, and uh, I'm like, it's improv, just make something up. It's like, but people are gonna think it's me. Did you, yeah. Just, you're an actor, like, just be interesting. Like, yeah. how hard is it? But they didn't have a script in front of them. They didn't know what to say. And I'm like, what do you do in life? Yeah. Like, when right. people ask you a question, do you have right. to Google it? Like, you, if you have to be able to talk and think, but here we are. Yeah. In 2020. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's just like something I'd like to do in my life sometimes, like go to an improv class or just yeah. like, where, where stand it's like, up, just show like, them the middle I know, of nowhere I where you know to. nobody and then just, just you know, yeah. put your name on the list and try it. It yeah. is. It's on Derek's bucket know, list. He's talking, like, he but, talks you know, about stand up all the time. It seems like I love stand up. It's like nine out of 10, nine out of 10 popular guys are just, you know, yeah. like, you have to be fat so that half your show can be about how you're fat <laughs> and how you want to go to the gym. But, you know, like, I hate those stories. Anyways, getting back. <laughs> on 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 track so all right cool um uh that's that's all that's that's cool um you recently put your hat into for sure yeah but it was it was kind of like what, what what made you decide to like this is this is the time this is this is it's time now for you to <laughs> run for congress well you know a lot of people were bringing it up obviously i, I comment on politics and they're like why don't you run for an office why don't you run for an office and I was like, I feel like my work was better done online. I mm -hmm. could do national things. Uh, people would send me a local story. I'd put it on my platform. Now it got solved. Mm -hmm. That would happen over and over again. And a couple of times it happened to stories I had in Nevada. And it was kind of nice because, you know, this is my community. And then I was at CPAC and, it would, you know, I'm talking to my friends. And it kind of came up, you know, everyone was kind of running for an office. I'm like, gee, everyone's running. I wonder why. I'm like, what's going on in my district? And I asked my friend. And so District 3, Southern Nevada, is a Trump voting district that has a Democrat that voted for impeachment. That has openly said she doesn't see how that's going to affect her. Oh yeah, her what's what's her name? Susie Lee. Susie Lee. Yeah, that's oh, right. Okay, yeah. so, so yeah. she wanted to. She's yeah. Planned Parenthood money. She's the whole thing. And uh, I was like, "You're kidding me." Well, this should be an easy seat to flip. It should be in yeah. theory. Trump's going to do better this year, no matter how much the left tries to destroy the world. Yeah. What and the f <laughs> well, like, is there? Is he going to have opposition? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm Biden? a, I'm a fair Biden. guy. I wouldn't yeah, let right. Biden like, what, run a, like a Waffle House. Like, how's he gonna run know, the country? So here's here's um, I'll just tell you like it, it like Trump took me warming up. I didn't you know he he's a different kind of. I didn't like the way he talked too much, yep. you know, but at least he was, was you know, but at least I understood what he it was, was saying. Real. Like, that's, no, I, no, like it, I could was, understand if he said a sentence, I was like, okay, that's what he said. But like when Joe Biden talks, I'm literally, and I'm, this isn't just me being mean. I'm like, what the fuck did he say? Yeah, Somebody what tell me what he said <laughs> it's and how it pertains to the topic. They're like, you know, it's like, hey, Joe, what's your favorite color? They're like, well, the reason spaghetti is good is because I'm yeah. like, Joe, what are you doing, man? So, you know, like, it's yeah. like a permanent stroke. Right. Like he's always yeah. in the middle of some kind of stroke. So right. it'll be an interesting. This they lobotomized is, him. I'm just theory. Like, I think like to get him off of kids, they lobotomized him and, <laughs> and they did too bad a job. <laughs> I mean, I remember like, I mean, remember his original rallies? They were like 12 people. And I'm like, that's who the Democratic Party is going to pick. And people are like, no. And I'm like, they can control him. And then you watch really the Bernie and all these crazy things. And now I, I think they're going to pick a, I thought they were going to pick a vice president and just sneak that in. In their head, they think they're going to win with Biden. No. Yeah. Uh, they already disenfranchised their own base with the Bernie thing. I mean, I don't like Bernie. He's a communist, but he was the most popular. Yeah. But here we are for the second time in a row. And uh, I think they disenfranchised their base. I think Biden's a creeper. Would you even let him babysit? Like, no, no, I would like no. Well, like no, like I, no. I he's a liability. I, the only reason I wouldn't is because I don't know that I think he's competent. Like he, he seems like he might wander off. Maybe, maybe I don't know. It maybe, seems maybe cruel he's, to leave maybe, a hamster with him. Maybe he's a fucking genius and he's he's just playing a fool and we're all we're all, we're not picking up on it. But I don't think that I guarantee the case. you. I'll say this right here <laughs> that they switch him out last minute and then wait they can put in whoever they want without going through the delegation or the debates or all the other things that they'd have to please their yeah. own constituents with. I think they're just going to switch him out. Interesting. <laughs> and if it's Hillary Clinton, I will never stop laughing. Um, I will just laugh to the. Just, you think they do that? Like put her do back you, in. Do you put anything past them? I mean, the no, only economic crisis, yeah, no, the riots. Right, right. Yeah. 
Interesting. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, all so, right. Yes, so, yes, I was in. at CPAC and yeah. I realized that this is a very winnable seat. Uh, okay, let me help who's running. And then I learned about the candidates yeah. and I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding. Me. Oh, so you were just kind of. I was getting ready to back someone. You were just going to help somebody. Yeah, I'm like, and, I got a platform. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. get this done. And then the the two top guys, the other three, they, they seem like nice people, but they haven't been active. They haven't campaigned. I don't think I ran into a guy. And I'm like, whoa, what have you been doing? He goes, nothing. When are you going to start? Maybe this week. This was last week. And I'm like, I, Whoa. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's like if I late. ran for office, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much have you done? I was like, well, I made the decision. I made the decision. <laughs> yeah. And I feel confident about it. <laughs> and then I was like, but then it was like work. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um, so, so yeah. So the candidates, the guy that was currently in the lead for the Republican primary was anti-gun. Uh, he was pro-abortion. He was against the wall, and he, he actually yeah. talked about raising income taxes. I'm like, God, like, why don't? So I mean, this, fine, if those are your is, things, but go on the Democratic ticket. Get off right. that. And I, you know, so this is this is that's Schwartz. Dan Schwartz. Schwartz. They're both named so this Dan. Was, yeah. Oh, right. Right. So Dan Schwartz. This was interesting. Um, you know, because before um, uh, this show, I just I did some looking into, and it was interesting. And I don't care what <laughs> it, what like it. It doesn't bother me that he's. Uh, pro-abortion, anti-wall, um, anti-gun, but it's interesting that he's on the Republican, right? Because those are huge ticket. points. Because that's, that's that's yeah, that's that's yeah, right. It seems interesting. well, he's a millionaire and he's funding it himself, and I think right. he knew in this day and age. Well, he's been a Republican, but not a good one, you know. And and I but think it's in like, what ways? I don't that, know. That seems like the complete opposite. In a very opposite. fake way. So what he does is like, I'm like, who would vote for him if they knew the truth? And then we, you know, people send me their his flyers and he's photoshopped himself with the president and all his strong points are all the weak points I just mentioned. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. The, and I got a problem with this. The Nevada Firearms Coalition endorsed him. He's openly said he's against us owning assault rifles, whatever that means. Right. And right. they endorsed him. So yeah, yeah like that's the, yeah. that's the politics I didn't expect. I expected crap yeah. on the left. I didn't expect this kind of fakery. Yeah. And then it gets worse because so the it's guy almost that was- like yeah. it's been infiltrated by the- Rhinos, left, like, I believe either. the term is called. Republican in name only. What's this? Rhino. It's Republican in name only. I've they put an R that. next to their name oh, to get elected, but then they just everything rhinos. that they're for. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, got us a rhino. <laughs> That's some double agent shit yeah, right there. there. <laughs> yeah. So and then and then, and then the then, second guy had all those all this. I mean, these are awful things. You know, he actually yeah. did the commercial. You you said you saw it where he's like never been convicted, and I'm like, yeah. you know, innocent people say they're not innocent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> innocent people yeah. say they're not innocent. They're like never been caught. I'm like, well, actually, you pled to battery. There was a, a bunch of other cases and stuff like that. And my problem was the fraud. He's been sued five times for ripping people off, tax liens, forgery, fraud, non-payment of people. Yikes. I don't want him with my tax money. I'm right. sorry. And I was really weirded out because it's know, conspiracy stuff. But the GOP members kept endorsing him, and the GOP members kept getting destroyed by the people in Nevada. The head of the GOP, Kevin McCarthy, endorsed him. If you look on his Twitter right now, there's about probably like 250, 300 negative comments. None of them positive last time I checked. Right. They're like, how could you do this? Right. He's gonna make us look bad. He's not gonna flip the seat. He's definitely not gonna beat. There's Susie Lee has $2 million behind her. You're not yeah. just gonna beat that. She's gonna amplify all of this stuff and, and you're just gonna be stuck. Why would they keep doing it? And then yesterday we got sent the article that last minute super PAC just slipped up a bunch of money and they did it so last minute, they don't have to disclose it. So he's- Well-funded. Interesting how all that Well, stuff a lot works. of people are gonna make money off him and I yeah. think that's a problem. I think that's a really big problem. I think you should so, get PAC money. Okay. Ever. I don't so think how anyone. does, uh, can you explain to me how that works? So how does how does somebody, when you say they're gonna make money off of him, yeah. so these, how does that work exactly? So they, they get someone in office and then he gives Let's them Let's say a casino bills. gives a congressman a lot of money. Okay, to get elected. What do you think comes out of that? Favoritism, right. all kinds of stuff. That's the problem. And I don't think that should happen. Uh, I'm limited. An individual can only give me, I believe it's 2,800 for this federal position. Mm -hmm. I had to turn away. I had to return money from small businesses because I'm not allowed to take money from small businesses. It's a conflict of interest. But in the meantime, How Planned Parenthood can give tens of thousands of dollars. Unions can give tens of thousands of dollars. They can give as much money as they want. Why? You're buying people. They owe you favors. You're yeah. going to be sitting in the office. They're going to call for a favor or you're not going to get the next check. You're not going to get reelected. And I think that's a problem. And in running a campaign, running a federal level campaign, it doesn't cost a million dollars. And I've had them say that to me. They're like, it's a million dollars. See, you don't have enough money. I'm like, it isn't. You guys spent 35K, I think almost each, to do Facebook ads. 
to get a fraction of the followers I already had yeah. from just being me know, and we, just yeah. doing the politics. Yeah. We we run all our social. That's how we make our money here is using social media. And we've never put a fucking penny into I it. I can't. They won't like, let me. Facebook. Right, I'm like, well, yeah. I'll do a few. I'll get new people, maybe some older people. I'm not allowed. They said, well, you have to verify your identity. I'm like, it's a verified page. Well, you know, people are like, well, verify it again. There's no link. It Can doesn't you work. verify the verification for us, yeah, please? Derek had that you, problem. Yeah. I'm, I'm not very, I got, I got, I got 700 some odd thousand followers on Facebook and 500 K on Instagram. And I'm not verified. Uh, if you lean either. slightly right, like, you're not going to. Yeah. Uh, okay. I got it because I was an actor. Yeah. Uh, so that's, in, you know, so like, so, you, you know, you, you can get as much money as you want from Planned Parenthood. And which then is, that's which our is, money. With, like, How does that happen? Like they supposedly, and this is my problem with your pro abortion or not. They have, we give them tax money to keep their doors open because they need it. It's, it's for the needy right. people. It's healthcare. I don't believe whatever, like pay for your own abortion at least. Yeah. And, uh, and then what do they do with that money that they need to keep their doors open? They give it to the Democrats so that they can get more to money. It's money laundering. Yeah. Like, does right. no one see what's going yeah. on? You're, you're so already charging I, yeah. for services. So I use them as an example, but it's like, so you can get money from this person, but then they say you can't take money from small businesses because it's a conflict of interest. Like the whole fucking thing. And it was a single a person, one person business. And, yeah. I'm like, oh, but because it was, you know, I had yeah. to give it back and they had to mm -hmm. do it different. But I think that's ridiculous the way you're allowed to buy people. It is not a $2 million seat. It doesn't that, take $2 million to win this if you're smart and you're fiscal. We could fucking do it for zero dollars <laughs> if we, you know, like if we weren't so terrified about <laughs> our, what's in our closet. Right. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. I want to yeah. know. So, so, and so there's, um, the, that's your opposition. This, this, uh, it's California dirty. It's Democrat dirty. And I don't like talking crap about yeah. my opponents, but it's been negative ads, negative ads, negative right. ads this well, entire time. And they pretend I don't exist. And that's a problem to me too. Yeah. You, you would think I did not exist to them. Right. And then, so, and so the, it's like the uh, Dan Schwartz is kind of in the lead and then followed by this he, other Dan. And then you're kind of sitting. No one knows where I'm at. Oh, really? The, the, the last polls, the proper polls that were done were done as I put my name on the line. Really? I didn't get to do any mailers. I didn't get to do anything. The quarantine immediately happened. And so I was, in, yeah. I was in third place out of six and I hadn't done anything. I'm like, you yeah. know what? Okay, the number's low, but it's really not that bad. Right. Yeah. And then since then we've done mailers, we've done the billboards, we did TV ads, we mm -hmm. did you know everything on the social media. Social media has been huge. I went to the rallies, I met people, I did everything. Yeah. I and mean, I would have done that stuff anyway. Yeah. But just you know, kind of have that drive and uh, made a lot of, I'm in, I'd be interested to see. Yeah. yeah, I'd be interested to see, and and of course my opponent saying he's number one. And like you were fifteen percent on your best day before your negative yeah. ads came out. Like I can how do, do math. How do they get those numbers? The they polling don't. numbers. Uh, like I said, the the flash polls, like I think those were either sent by email or text, and then people answered them. But oh, of okay. course, you send it to people. It's, they're gonna screenshot. It's like oh, I voted. For, so I know everyone that goes on. And yep. the last ones, other than that March one, everything else has been like a likability poll between those two, and not me. But they're walking around like they're number one, somehow both of them. And it's just crazy. Yeah. It's I don't understand politics. polls. And when it's like on the news, when they're like, yeah, 56% of Americans believe this. I'm like, well, motherfucker, you didn't ask me. 56% of polls are made what, up. Like, what if I dropped it right. down to 55? Do you have a real number here? Stop. Look what they did to Trump. Trump says yeah, 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 losing, losing, losing. That. And then, yeah, yeah look like how that to, turned up out. To the, up to the last minute, they're like, He's not going to win. I thought then, no like, way. I thought no way he would win wrong. that election just because you have a fucking like, it's not that I didn't like Hillary Clinton, but she'd been in the game for 40 fucking years. If, if, if there was somebody who knew You're like the only person I know that doesn't like Hillary Clinton. What's that? It's like, we've been calling her Satan in a pantsuit. Like oh. she ran her entire campaign was, I have a vagina vote for me. You stupid deplorable. And I'm like, this will win them over. Man, like, right. I'm like, she's yeah. going to lose. And no one had any idea. I'm like, I get voting for her. Cause you didn't like Trump. I don't get voting for her. Cause you're like, yeah, I feel empowered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, that's one of the, my issues with like, for me voting is, you know, so, so you have, you have, uh, you have someone you don't like and you have someone you don't like. And people are, use that argument, well, just vote for the lesser of two evils. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So you abstain no. because of right. that. Like and you're like, like I don't want to. You know, it's like, I, I, I don't. I had good faith in Trump. I mean, I, yep. I liked him from the start. And I remember sitting there on election night, just, I mean, we were kind of like preppers and we were like, yes, so we thought Hillary was going to cheat to win. Well, I'd be shooting people off my lawn. Not going to lie. I was like, <laughs> it's the end of the world. The borders will be open. Uh, you know, it'll be helter skelter. Uh, and so, yeah, we had the gasoline and the freeze right. Like, you know, we were the we were. And then we just watched states go red, red, red. And I remember just sitting there like, oh my God. No I, way. She's we not just saved win. our country. Well, I think we no just saved way. our country. I yeah. knew what she was going to sell us down a river. And then you see all the things that they did. I mean, they were spying on Trump. Yep. Yeah. Before that, do you remember? And they still well, well everybody's spying on everybody. Well, no, they wiretapped yeah. him. That's yeah. a, do you remember in his campaign when he was saying that he's? They, I, I vividly remember him saying, "Yeah, they've wiretapped me," and then everyone, <laughs> no one believed him. No one yeah. believed him. And then him. it came out, and then people were like, "Yeah." yeah and then turns out, 
They were. Yeah. And they still didn't find anything. You wiretapped me, you'd find something. I would yeah. like yeah. some kind of like library yeah. book or but something. I, like, so I've, I, I, I do like him as much as I can like, you know, the president is, I, this is a tough job, you know, like you're oh going to get, you're gonna get blamed. His. You're going to get blamed for everything. Yeah. And it's like, people just hate you. And I'm like, all right, I'm above that. Um, I do, but there's like a lot of things that I've just really grown to like about him. I'm not, I don't follow too much like policy things. It's all muddy waters. And we but just like, Owen and I are just sitting here. We only know as much as we can possibly know or not in these meetings, but I like this guy because things like this, when somebody was like, you know, Mr. President, why do you continue to call it the Chinese virus? And he's like, cause it's from China. No, it, it's, it's from like China. 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 It's from, it's from, it's from, it's from, it's from China. China. You know, just like this balls to say that. It's like, hey, this is fucking, I'm it's not going to, I'm not going to tiptoe around your yeah. sensibilities. Yeah. I'm not going to use fluff words. Like I'm yep. running out of breath here. Right. You know, like we've from. been talking a long time. I'm going to get like, it's fuck. It's from fucking China. You can suck my ass <laughs> about it. You know, it's like just that mentality. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, like, like grow the fuck up. Okay. But, um, yeah, no, I, I definitely, um, have warmed up to him. Um, it's it's and it's, I think a lot of people have, and I think it's it's gonna be a landslide of gosh, Biden. I mean, yeah. really, Biden, right? A mop, or even not even. Would have been, yeah, I was watching the. We actually almost. I remember the idea we had where we were gonna uh, Photoshop me into the presidential yeah. debates. We were gonna do like this video series things. Um, but uh, the uh, even before Biden, these the the, the Democratic uh, candidates that were you know doing all those debates, it was just like what the fuck is going on yeah because there's a lot of smart motherfucking democrats out there mm -hmm. a lot of people who have their shit together it's not about what that. is this who how are they it's being a, represented like, this really? way all right this is yeah. the smartest guy you could have come represent mm -hmm. you no it's all about control yep i really. think the democratic party wants candidates that they can control it's why they don't like certain ones yep they right. could have won there's a few they could have picked that i would have been like oh it's gonna be a tougher race because yep. of that but they don't yeah they need someone they can control they knew they couldn't control trump and that's what i love about it yeah. He walked in and told it as it was, and man, did America need that? Yeah, yeah, and it's 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 all it's all very interesting. I got a couple questions Ooh, about, okay. um, like you know, I, I was reading the article, and it kind of goes through like some of the things that you're, um, um, pr like. So I read it says you're, you're you're against unconstitutional gun laws. You're very pro to a what 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 are the, what are these unconstitutional gun laws? Most that, of them. Like uh, okay, so what does that mean to you? If you've ever tried to carry your gun somewhere else, you will run into something you shouldn't. Uh, one of the things I'm pushing for is universal concealed carry. Think of how ridiculous it is that I have to not only be careful where I drive out of the state, but even inside the state, even inside the same city sometimes, the yeah. laws change. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. There has to be something more standard. Right. And, and I think if, if I'm gonna get fingerprinted, and I'm gonna do the test and I'm gonna do the class and I'm doing all the stuff and fingerprint and all that stuff, then I should be able to carry my gun legally across all 50 states. You wouldn't get out of your well, car and no, get a new driver's license because you hit Jersey. I think about that in a right. lot of ways. Like it's called the United States, but united in fucking what? <laughs> you know? And, and um, I, when I, got, I got my conceal and carry in 2009 in Minnesota. And then they gave me a list of states that it was yeah, recognized. I was like, wait, what? What the fuck is this? And yeah. then like it expires in five years. And it's a super funny story. The sheriff at the time actually got fired because he took uh, uh, my email and other people's email that did the conceal and carry thing. And he used that for his like oh. political campaign email. Oh, no. yeah, I think they yeah. frowned upon that. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I, okay. Why am I getting um, this marketing material? For it makes guy? it makes sense. And but I, it does I, make sense. You wouldn't get a new driver's license. Can you imagine the madness, oh, and that's yeah. the madness we deal with as gun owners. So yep. there's too many laws. Everyone's pushing for the universal background check. We have a background check. It's good. Yeah. You don't need to make more complicated. I mean, as it is, uh, because of the quarantine, there are people that are calling a thousand times and hanging up just to get through hours and hours just to do one gun transfer. And don't say like you're overwhelmed. Like you get twenty five bucks a pop for a minute work. You can you can pay more people, especially now. Right. You know. So I think there's a lot of uh, problems. And and my issue is I do work in California a lot. I can't legally carry a gun there. Yeah. And yeah. good luck trying to get a, a permit. And I'm sorry, but that's unconstitutional. Yeah, and didn't California have like a, a pay to play type of scenario happen at some point where they, they're- They're you know, May issue, which yeah. means they don't have to give it to you. And I'm sorry, last I checked, you kind of do. Oh, unless so that's, uh, that's yeah. in there, like they can- I believe San Diego like, sued them. Because we can they're like, you can't just not give it to, to me. anybody type thing. Yeah. So it really? has to be, mostly it's county. So if you live in a rural county, you have an actual residence, you'll have an easier time getting concealed. You live in LA. And man, I've had my place almost broken into. Yeah. I've had stalkers and I couldn't get a concealed carry permit. I got a problem with that. 
Yeah. That's my right. Right. To protect myself. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a reason, like I, I was saying before, like, you know, I've been going to all these rallies for two months for our freedom, you know, just all the stuff that our governor here has been trying to do and take away. I've been rallying against it. And people show up, they're patriots with their rifles and their, you know, their flag, everything. Oh. And nothing ever happens. No violence, no scuffles. The left gets together for one night and it's like the purge. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, why did burning a target? Like, you're just there's being actually, animals. actually tonight, um, you know, my wife uh, works on Nellis here and her commander put out, there's a, a planned unpeaceful protest down the street. You just, say that with a smile. No, it's <laughs> a planned. <laughs> it's fucked up, and they're gonna raid the fucking Walmart. Like they're not. But that's okay. Well, I hope not. Well, here's the thing: if the word gets out about them doing it, there'll be a word of patriots. They're gonna make sure they don't do that. Yeah, like and like, so. but all the like, so like, there's this there's this business called Wing Time. I fucking love that place. They got yeah. good chicken tenders. It's boarded up right now, in preparation for this fucking. Well, there's no accountability. All the root, all the rioters that they arrested are already released. And yeah. I got a problem with that too. I mean, like, you don't have accountability. Why? We live in a world where they were releasing criminals because of coronavirus. And then they were arresting honest citizens for trying to run a business or yeah. paddle boarding in the middle of the ocean. You're and then we get riots and then they just release them again. Uh, clearly the Democrats are trying to, I mean, they couldn't be clear that they're trying to destroy our society as we know it. It's definitely well, it's an interesting time to comfortable, be running Comfortable, smart, educated, happy people aren't, are hard to control. You yeah. have to have chaos. Yeah, that's, you know, it's fucking, I'm actually like, you know, like, like I, like I said, like I stay pretty separated between, um, or I'm not vocal about current events and I don't, you know, exercise, exercise my right to vote, but now it's coming into, but now, yeah. but or like, you know, I like you, you, some people call me unpatriotic. I'm like, Hey motherfucker, you ever been shot in Iraq? You know, I don't think they get to call you that. <laughs> no. You can probably do a lot worse and never have that. <laughs> but, um, but now it's, you know, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm angry. Because now it's like we're good people here. We're good people. I'm. We're not. We are not. We're not fucking racist, sexist, homophobic. We're good people, and we say hi to everyone. But now this shit, it's getting closer and closer and closer to my neighborhood. By the shit, I mean like this. You know, like and it was put out that Antifa was flying to Vegas, and it's kind of like, all right. So we have to now. I have to consider protecting my family. Yep. What area are they in? Oh, it's getting closer. It's a fucking mile away tonight. And now I have to really be like, so my kids are staying at my mom's who lives behind me. And now I have to consider, do I need to bring everybody into my house so that right. I can protect everyone? Why the fuck do I have to consider that? Why, what the, what did I do? And then there's going to be an argument. It's like, well, this person did nothing. I'm like, well, <laughs> all right. If you want to make me your enemy, keep doing what you're doing. Cause you, you know, if, if, if I have to start considering it's, it's, it makes me angry. I understand what the left is trying to do. And I don't think they understand what it's actually doing. Yeah. You know, they've spent an entire year trying to create ways to get at Trump and to hurt America and make us give up our freedoms for socialism. And it doesn't work. And it will never work. Uh, you can get all the college grads. I think socialism is great, but it's never going to beat all the farmers in middle America and working class people and people with the brain. You're never going to do that. So you look what they did. They had a um, Russian collusion was fake. The impeachment was fake. Well, let's do coronavirus. The numbers even padded weren't real, uh, weren't worth what we were doing anyway. Yeah, and they now we have riots. doctors. They're just constantly creating ways to be like, oh, for your own safety, let's take this right. No, I'd rather die for like the whole coronavirus. So we're gonna stay home. Like, no, 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 make it voluntary. It should have never been mandatory. If you are sick, if you are taking care of someone who's sick, if you are at risk, stay at home and we would have more resources to take care of you. But it sh but healthy people could have kept the whole economy going. Yeah. Well, now it's even interesting because of all these protests <laughs> and riots. If we don't see a spike right. dramatically, that'll be interesting. I'm just like, we, we, know just, we just sit back I've, and we're just like, that's interesting. I've been that's doing protests for two months. <laughs> Did you see a spike? Uh, oh, and right, they were wishing yeah. death upon us. They're like, hope you guys all get sick. Look, we're not going to get sick. Right. Yeah. We're just not. So it's, it's a highly. Um, no, numbers have dropped. Well, I mean, like whatever numbers they're counting. They were never bad. Like, yeah. And they were counting you, everything you know, as coronavirus. Yeah. You could have had your head cut off and they right. would have been like, oh, corona. Man, you corona know what's got an interesting guy. thing, man, is like when we were in our 20s. So I, I like there's a there's a quote that I like. And it says, if you're not a socialist in your 20s, you don't have a heart. And if you're still a socialist in your 30s, you don't have a brain. That's you know, true. like, so it's it's like, and I, I kind of went through, I, I, after I got, after I got shot, I went to college and I sort of, um, I was learning more and they were teaching me, I kind of, it's not that I had lost my way. I definitely became soft and a little bit too soft, you know? Um, 
Uh, but the, it was interesting because like now with social media, like a 19 year old kid has access to all this information that you used to have to read in a newspaper and who the fuck would read a newspaper and you would have to find that article, but it's just there. And like, it seems like a lot of, um, there's a lot of, a lot of college students that vote Democrat and they seem to be very angry. Indoctrination. And, yeah. That's happens in college. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They literally make you take classes to, yeah. It's something wrong with it. I think we need to change the whole system for education from the beginning. Look at the common core. I mean, that, that turned out to be an Obama back end deal. I mean, you made our kids dumber for money. The president of the United States sold out the children of America for money. What is, what is this? Common now? Core. What, what is that? The common core. Oh, it's common. I mean, I got kids. They're going to be dumb. I've already accepted uh, hopefully it. Common you know, like, <laughs> no, just, <laughs> just homeschool them. They'll be smarter than everyone. Yeah. Uh, basically, was it a book deal that he got out of it? I think I, I think I think that sounds familiar. Oh. He got well, like a huge amount from the same company that was pushing Common Core math. And we already know Common Core math doesn't work, doesn't help your kids. It's super complicated. Did you ever see that joke with the video where they do like one problem regular and then they do Common Core and the person that does it regular is like making coffee, yeah. they're getting the paper. Why would you complicate? It's math. Yeah. And you know, I was seeing something. So my mom was a teacher still, you know, uh, a while back. And uh, the thing she said, she's like, we have to pass these kids through. We're not allowed to hang on to them, even if they don't know anything. There's no wrong answer in math class. I'm like, what do you mean there's no wrong? Mm. Bullshit. Then why the fuck? Dude, I fucking took college algebra. That shit would take, like one hour could take 45 minutes. Or like that level of math is like, like there's a wrong answer. There's there's wrong answers. There's stupid questions and there's losers. Okay. (laughs) That is my, like someone's got to lose. And when you lose, you're a loser. You're not like an overall loser, but you definitely lost at that thing. And, You'd uh, get like but, partial yeah. credit if you showed work and you did okay, <laughs> right? right yeah. You messed yeah. up right Here's there. Where you it, went says, wrong. it says second place on your trophy. You know what's yeah. cooler than that? First place. But um, you know, uh what's fun um so uh my wife and I, we had kids last year. And we, we came here because she was in the Air Force, but she got out a um, year and a half ago or so. But we decided to buy a house and stay here in uh, Nevada. But now she doesn't want to um live here once the boys are old enough to go to school because the school systems are Homeschool, so, man. That's a lot of work. I got to I got It's not. It's like half a, a day. Well, well, here's the thing. Like, <laughs> and, and, and I've helped my friends, a uh, little girl, do this, and she's actually with us right now. Um, it used to be like you thought the homeschool kids would be the weirdos. And yeah. I don't think that. You see what they're being taught. You see some of the things they come home with. You know, teachers t- just, ah. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, you know, uh, I would, it's really easy. There's, they make it easy. There's like online stuff. They, they watch a teacher on a video. You just check their work, like homework every night. Yeah. And they're pretty, yeah. it's so pretty self-contained. Owen has four kids. Yeah, and four. Talia, his wife, homeschools the kids on some interesting kind of way. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. So like I was super pro homeschooling when we had the kid or that, that I was like, I don't want to, cause everything I learned up through high school, I had to r- learn later in life that it was fucking bullshit. You know, like <laughs> mo- most of it's, it's fucking bullshit. Yeah. You know, like they teach you, they teach you lies, you know? And so it's like, but and so my thing was like, maybe it's good that they get taught the lies and be like, hey, the world's going to lie to you. All right. Lesson you know? one. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm, yeah. So how do you like the homeschooling? I love it. See? Yeah. You controlling what your kid's learning. Yep, totally. And if you want to socialize them, like have them do sports, have well, them do classes. And there's so many people that social that, that homeschool now that there's, there's groups that, that get group discounts. Curriculums like, from yeah, the state well, and like things we like went that to too. the lions. They have, they have a lion sanctuary here in Vegas and there was a homeschool meetup where it was a bunch of other homeschool families that got a discounted rate and we all went and saw lions and that was, you know, the field trip that was the field trip for the day yeah yeah no i i, I have i have yeah i'm i'm up in the air it's in easier a, than you think it's a lot it's easier not, it's not yeah because at the end They're, of the day you go to school for like what seven six hours what do you come out learning my, but if your kid's forced to think for like two straight hours i'll get it done and then they can do other things. but i don't mean it i don't mean to make it sound like i don't want to homeschool my kids because i don't want to put the time and effort into it it's just like i think about my experience i was like man maybe i should allow them that experience because you know like i went to i grew up in saint paul minnesota it was like in the inner city and it was really diverse and so i think that kind of i think you can get that outside of school though yeah yeah, yeah. personally i mean I, well, I, I, well you, you, you well teacher. you should you should <laughs> thank my parents for sending me to school because it's funny because like my dad my dad was he was um he was he was awful 
and he was he was one of those he so he was a fucking hard line democrat and he and he would o- often say um he's like the problem with america is that republicans exist like at all and but this was like this guy he had tds but, before tds was but a thing his, that's his, amazing his opinion but like what was you know it was just it was kind of and he would get so angry and just yell at the tv and all this shit you know and there's there's people on the other side like but like i was like actually I didn't say it to him, you know, but I was like, actually, dad, I think like that type of opinion might be the problem (laughs) where it's like, you know, and, and my, my uncle's the same way. It was really, so, um, yeah, I kind of came from that family, which was, that was my dad. That was interesting. The complete opposite of, uh, and, and, and him and I would talk sometimes and I would question some of his things and we just get mad and defensive. So that's where I come from. That's crazy. Yeah. Usually our parents were, you know, right. No. Yeah. I kind of took a, left turn there you know i think we switch off <laughs> yeah. that's the thing we do like, yeah. my mom's like a democrat you know and i remember i talked to her and she would just be like oh trump i'm like why yeah because because like why because yeah. trump oh mom stop watching cnn right yeah like, you can't even like justify why you don't like the guy yeah um so uh like just just i uh, so the so what are, what are what is what are what are Democrats trying to do here in Nevada with guns? Are they trying to bring? Because I've heard they're trying to bring like the California laws. Or there's a lot of Californians moving to. Yeah, Nevada everyone here, right? blames. Everyone blames California people moving here, but I'm one of those people, and I moved. Yeah, I moved here to escape that, and every yeah. other person I know also did. They, they're what, usually yeah. they usually put themselves down as independents. They don't want to be like full. It's hard to go Democrat to Republican. You have to do baby steps. Yeah, and and it's corruption. I have a whole timeline of what had happened. And basically, once corruption starts and it gets into the election system, it's hard to get rid of. And it's happened. The last year, in one year, we have a Democrat governor. He's given felons the right to vote immediately upon release. Because it was what before? you had It was like seven years after? I think it was two years, which isn't bad. The okay. whole point of why felons aren't supposed to vote on bills is because they do not usually have the best interest in minds of a community. Yeah, They're right. like, more cops. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's oh, a no, reason. That one. Yeah. That's the whole uh, reason. And that's why conservatives uh, are like, what are you doing? Uh, they are not upstanding members of society. It's one of the rights you lose. You also can't right. have guns. It, that just happens. Right. You know, when you break something so seriously, it's felonious. And, uh, and then he also... So legal aliens are allowed to have driver's licenses. And once they sign up, they are automatically signed up to vote unless they remember to opt out or see it. Oh, it's like it defaults to (laughs) you're signed up. Why would you do that? That makes no sense. And then you have the mail-in. Yeah, you have the mail-in that we have in now. And then the Democrats sued. They wanted dead people and inactive voters to get ballots. So that they're all, now there's Hey, my dad could still vote Democrat then, you know? Like, <laughs> a lot of people only vote Democrat when they're dead. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, but it's set up so a anyone. A lot of people vote Democrat <laughs> after they're dead. It's true. That's funny. And that's how it happens. People are like, well, how yeah. does that really happen? Yeah. Like, well, they demanded that inactive yeah. and dead voters get ballots. And they're everywhere. So you just scoop them up, fill them out and vote and just mail yeah. them back. There's no accountability to that. Yeah, that's just, that's funny. They're just crunching the numbers in the office. You're like, what, what's our dead voter count for the day? You know, it's like, right. well, Except a, how do you fix that? Right. Yeah. So, uh, with, well, like, there you go to my platform and uh, this national voter, voter ID. ID. Yeah. Because it's so a what federal... does that mean? And I hear that a lot. And I don't understand exactly. And some people think it's like a separate license. It's your state ID. It's yeah. a legal state ID for whatever state you're in. You show your ID for everything. And I want to yep. meet the person who doesn't have an ID. I don't off right. the grid but that's what, on the lamb you need to beat and I have an ID. But so um you know I think that's common like Republicans and I'm generalizing here but it seems to be part of the platform like uh, Republicans, conservatives, whatever you want to be called. Even Democrats want, want, are for a voter want, ID. It's it's right, the crazy but, radical Yeah, and they and they but their their um their spin, their story, what they're telling people is that you guys want that to voter suppression, like, voter suppression, right? And that just doesn't, doesn't make watch. sense. They'll to say me. it's racist too, and that also doesn't. Yeah. Watch. And, and when they're like, "Like, how is it racist?" Like, well, how a minority is going to go through the DMV? And I'm like, like "That sounds racist." I mean, are you kidding like, me? Right. Yeah. You think minorities can't figure out? Like they're how so to- fucking incompetent that, or like it would. <laughs> and I think the point is, is so like that illegal, or like. You can only vote if you're fucking alive and a citizen of the United States. That's the point of it, mm-hmm. right? I mean, it kind of makes sense. And and if it and if it makes if it takes somebody some extra steps, what extra steps? To, but like I don't know. But I'm just saying. Buying beer, like, it's I as just, easy as buying beer. I just beer. you know I'm open to the argument of that it's a uh, voter suppression. I just don't think it makes sense that that's the case. 
I it don't think it's, too, yeah. So this would be separate. So a voter ID thing is separate from a driver's license. No, no, or, it's, it's voter IDs. You need an ID to vote. Oh, okay. So just, th that's it? That's what this fucking <laughs> argument is about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I need to prove, I need to prove who I am every fucking where yeah, I right. go, man. You to, know? To buy, and, and to they buy don't, dip. And, and so, so yeah, for real. You know, for real, you got to like, show ID to buy dip. Of all the things we have to prove our identity for, they don't, want to require people to prove that they are who they are to vote to fucking yeah. vote. That's, that's why would you do that? Thing. Why think of a good reason why and they're like, well, we don't want to stop anyone from voting. I'm like who doesn't have an ID? Right. Get your life together. They're like, well, it's expensive. I did the math. It's $13 a year. Really? If you can't come up with $13 a year, you screwed up somewhere in yeah. life. You know what I mean? Cause you need that for the next four or five years for everything in life. It's a pretty good investment. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, no, like, and even and, if like, they probably do have programs where you get it for free too. So yeah. I don't understand. They probably wave it all the time too. Yeah. So yeah, I think you need ID. And I think the minute that you have, cause think about it. How do I know that the people we're sending to DC or the laws that we're passing are really voted on by the people unless we actually secure our elections? And I think once you secure our elections, you're going to see change, positive change in this country across the board. And actually, from that point yeah. on, we can take on other issues, but until our votes matter and the people we put in are the people we want, nothing's going to change. It's that just going to get worse. makes sense that if, if the system allows for it, that you could get a fraudulent- Oh, you just game elected. it over and over, especially yeah. if you know how you're- if, it, if it's open to fraud, somebody's going to fucking take advantage of that shit. Yeah. Yeah, and they do. But I just, but they really, they, you know. So it, even for me, it doesn't seem like too much to ask of a person to have an ID to vote. That so, makes it makes sense, and I don't. But it's like for what the, you know, I just when they got say my, it, it's an attack on the minorities and and people in lower. I think it's condescending classes. racism to yeah. think that they can't. I, yeah, I think so that's that. that's an interesting. I like that where some people think. Um, the people, some people defend groups of people when really what they're doing is they're seeing them as so fucking, patronizing. Yeah. yeah. There's two, there's different kinds of racism. There's like <laughs> yeah. old people racism, which, uh, you know, everyone knows that guy that that's ever, definitely racism. Yeah. yeah, right. like, yeah. Oh my, he's like a time yeah. machine racism. Yeah. You're like, I don't even, haven't even heard that word in 30 years. You know, then there's actual racism where people have happened. There's war racism. I mean, when you look at a Korean War of it, like, yeah, they were kind of trained to hate certain people, but in real life, they're not that bad. And then there's condescending racism. Yeah. Uh, and that's when you, it doesn't sound like racism, but it is. And then they can be condescending sexism. People do it all the time. Like, oh, honey, just, well, let's just lower the standards and, and we'll hire you because we need a woman. That's condescending sexism. It's mm -hmm. insulting. Yeah. I don't like, I don't want a job because you needed to fill a quota. And right. I, I think, I'm not going to speak for them because I'm not liberal. I, I like to think that minorities wouldn't want that either. That they want to be treated with true equality. And true equality is equal. It's not favoritism. It's not special favors. It's equality. So, so for like voter ID, it, it, I just got my driver's license here in Nevada. And I think I had to bring like, there's the enhanced. Did you get a license. real one? Cause yeah. they, so now you can have a, a driver's license or an, you now you can have an ID or a real ID. And I have to get an, a real ID in October. Cause they're like, Hey, you know, I can't remember need, what I got. To know, right. Two forms of identity, other forms of identification, what your shoe size is, well, how long racist, you last. I think. Yeah. They make you do that. yeah, I had to I had to show like, my social security they? card. Yeah. They yeah. are suppressing I your know. right to yeah, drive. Yeah, they're suppressing my right to fly to St. Louis yeah. is what they're doing. <laughs> you, know? you can just use a passport yeah. too, right? Because I'm not. So that's with interesting. That. So that's so so currently today, it's not required that to show an ID to vote. No. No. And right. then and now there's this this new th and now the world's like this or is register. A, Re really? So I don't have to register. I can just go vote. Well, now it's too late. You had to do the oh. paper. If you didn't have ID or proof of right, anything, yeah. you had to fill out a piece of paper and mail it in. And they would have get See, you a ballot here's, here's, that you here's, didn't deserve. Here's my fucking problem. I don't like doing things twice. All right. So it's like well, day if of, I, you need a license though. That's one of the few times you actually have to prove who you are is day of, if you wanted to register, if you, they check. Yeah. That's when I did. I got my driver's license site cause I switched it into Nevada and then they, uh, they like, they gave me the voter registration. I filled that out, and then my ballot got sent to me. And you you have to redo that every how often? I don't know, four, no. four years. Never. I mean, your license, but yeah, that's a license it. when that's you renew really, it. Like so, once you you're, want to once, your address once you're, if you move, but that's about it. Oh, you know what? The last time I voted was I was living in Colorado. It must have been 2012. Oh, I, gonna say Dukakis. I, I registered to vote. <laughs> I, I registered to vote, not to vote for someone, just to vote to legalize weed. I don't, I don't, I don't fucking smoke. I don't, I don't use, I don't, I don't use marijuana, but I was like, this needs to be a fucking thing. 
And so I, I registered to vote and <laughs> I fucking weird motivation I've ever heard. I don't even want it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I just everybody want to else to get high. Hey, I believe in fucking freedom. All right. Like, it, <laughs> and, and so like, yeah, that was a, <laughs> I was like, these people need their rights, you know? So actually, so like this voter thing, an interesting thing now is that I'm hearing and seeing is what are the, what are the, what's the Democrat party trying to do? Or Dan, Dan Crenshaw speaks out against it a lot. It's like mail in. What, do you that's know what, what I'm talking got. about? Yeah, that's what Nevada has. Yeah, yeah, we didn't want it. It's actually illegal. The yeah. uh, the election department head, who's actually a Republican, that's not a good one. She had no right to do that. There's no. She just had legally had no right to do that. She just made the decision and, and turned it into. And people sued to stop it, but it got postponed by an Obama appointee judge for the second time until oh, wow. after the primary. Like, thank you very much. Right. Thank you so much. But it's just too right for fraud. It's one thing to go to a poll and cheat in person and do all that stuff. It's another to just sign up a thousand people and mail it out anonymously. Right. Uh, well, that is not an election. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I, I, uh, Washington has the same thing where you vote by mail. And then- Well, normally you would, you'd, you'd have to ask like, oh, I want to vote by mail. Maybe, maybe you're not healthy. Maybe you're old, something like that. But every single registered- Trying to think if I did voter that. got a ballot and it cost five million dollars for the state. Not only did it cost really? five million dollars. So what, what are the, the reasons? Who, who's who's doing that and why do they want it? To, to steal the election. So I've heard story. <laughs> I've heard stories of with with mail in um, with mail in elections. They will they will actually have and this is usually Democrats who do this. They'll send people out to neighborhoods and the people will go knock on ballot doors. Harvesting. And they will have like you know old people and be like, here, let me help you fill your your your. Um, your ballot out and explain all the candidates to you and then obviously coach that person on on how to vote and then take it and then we'll we'll go mail it for you. And so that's a huge problem when you have an army of people who are out canvassing neighborhoods kind of forcing their will upon upon people it's to vote. It's called ballot yeah. harvesting. Yeah. That's how California. So what California did is the, the Orange County is actually very conservative and it was a conservative stronghold and then they made them do ballot harvesting. And basically there's no chain of command. I could take your vote. Oh, I don't like it. Really? Yes. You could destroy votes you don't like. You could make up ones because you, you don't, you're not checking anyone's oh, ID or anything right. like that. And people are like, well, why don't conservatives fight back and do it? I'm like, cause we don't, we don't work like that. We actually like and believe in the election system. I don't want to give a stranger my personal information. I think totally. they're probably going to toss it anyway. So it doesn't work that way. And they are suing. They did sue the state for it. And it's actually illegal in the Nevada constitution for what I've seen. But they, they're done, this is so funny. They're doing ballot harvesting so they can't call it ballot harvesting. They're like, no, we're just gonna have people collect other people's ballots. Uh, okay. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, that sounds, uh, okay. So it well, sounds like ballot harvesting. You know Fine, I'll, I'll use ballot harvesting to end ballot harvesting. So I was thinking of all these ways we can do it. And then they're like, well, actually only select people the state chooses can do it. Uh, so no one from my camp is doing it, which means it's my opponent. So I got a problem with that. And that's Tuesday. Yeah. You see my problem with right, these elections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so so your election is Tuesday. 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 And you can Tuesday, still Tuesday, register Tuesday, and sign Tuesday. up the day of uh yeah. and vote. Well, was I auto registered? Don't, Don't they auto I I might have seen a piece of thing in the mail that was like <laughs> you're auto registered and I was like Wow. You know. And um we have to be Republican to vote for me in the primary cuz yeah. it's a primary and then everyone gets to vote in the general. But you a lot have, of people you are have like to you have to register as a Republican. You do. Really? And and this is what I've been trying to tell. There's a well, lot Well, I of won't make that. Like I'll tell you straight like I I okay, I I we're talk I don't want to sound make it sound like I fucking hate Democrats or the Democratic <laughs> Party. I really like I personally don't. I you know I th I just I sit back and watch. There's definitely a lot more things I think I disagree with over there, but there's also there's a lot of like things that I don't um, agree with Republicans on, and I don't I don't like it. And so to be fair, here's my voting history for president. I voted for George Bush and I voted for Barack Obama only once though. After I think the, after, everyone accidentally after, voted the first time for after Obama. the first time, and then you're like, and then the, wow. you know, so well, it was after after the first time I was like, oh, I was you know, I did, uh, voted for uh, President Bush and then voted for President Obama, and then I was like, wait, I mean, this motherfucker just it almost doesn't matter, almost it almost doesn't because there's like fucking a hundred people around the president, and we don't know who's making the decisions and who's like this is one fucking individual and they're just going to get blamed for everything anyways. Like they're going to come out of this with, you know, but like, like it doesn't like the presidents on both sides. Just well, this is my issue. Everyone everything. cares and yeah. thinks and worries about who they're going to vote for president. Do you know your senators? That's what, so here's, do you know right, who your rep is so, in this district? So, so I, I, I know who Dan Crenshaw is because I really like his yeah, social but he's media. Texas. He's yeah, Texas. I know. Yeah, I was like, run, run for cruise, president. Yeah. So, uh, but so actually with the, like for, for real, um, with the current events, I'm like, all right, 
you know, I should, I should give a shit because there does need to be changes. I think a lot of people are, are really upset, you know, and I don't want to be on the internet fucking my place in the world. Isn't to fucking talk about my opinion on these things on the internet. I like to try to tell people to fucking drink water instead of pop. I like to tell them to eat real food instead of eating cookies and like, go get your fucking workout in that day. Cause you'll be happier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want people to be happier. Um, and so I don't talk about these things, but it's like, you know what? I, I, I could do my part and just fucking vote and just pay a little bit of attention. Like who the fucking County sheriffs are, what's there, you know, from, from the bottom up, like, cause there's, there's some guys around that have just been fucking shitheads for mm-hmm. 20 years and they just keep getting voted back in. And Name it's like, recognition. People, and that, I, I, I don't want people to vote down the line. Don't vote down the line. Red, you, yeah. I'm up against rhinos. Like you can't yeah. do that. And because it's a mail-in ballot, hearing, Google the yeah. people. You have time. Google it. When, when this, she says rhinos, I just think bears. And I go to a weird place in my head. I'm like, what the I f- say rhinos know? and you think yeah. bears? <laughs> well, you know, like. What kind of bears? <laughs> yeah. The leather kind. The leather wearing <laughs> yeah. kind, I'm sure. West Hollywood bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This ballot was, this, this ballot it, was yeah. mostly judges. Um, well, you got to, there's, yeah. So. And they're impossible to do any sort of research on. I have it. In, from 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 my computer at my table. I in, wrote an article. I actually had someone, I had a local, I'm like, look, because I knew the RNC had done their own list, but I don't trust anything. I'm like, look, I trust you. Tell me who's who. And there's a lot of unchallenged seats where you're basically picking right. from the best Democrat yep. or there's a Republican, but you don't want that guy. And we made a list. And, and I'm like, all right, I trust you, everything. And he didn't just say, he actually explained why. He's like, look, this guy's a Democrat, but he's a constitutionalist. So, right. you know, you're doing things. And that's what we have to do. We have to be more educated about all the other positions because at the end of the day, that's how you end up with a Congress that doesn't yeah. support a president that people love. And a judge is probably who you're going to most likely come in contact with on on a like a make a decision make that can affect your decisions. life, right? Look at like, right now, I'm stuck in this messed up election because of an Obama appointee judge. Right. Pushed it off till after the election. Like, thanks. Like, what were you doing from like now to then? Like, you got a picnic. What else you got to do? This I'm is busy. the election for. Uh, I'm busy. Ugh. Um, Athens. I in in I I've made it one hour and three minutes, but I'm gonna pee my pants. Yeah. Do you do you want to take over? I I That's okay. yeah. I didn't um, realize we were there that long. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Man, he's gonna get hungry. Go ahead. We'll we'll, we'll do you have a little bit I'll more time, or yeah, do you got it? Like another twenty. Okay, okay, cool. You want to talk about? Owen had some questions about the VA. Yeah, I want to talk about like VA. that. Is that our? Are you? Can let's we do, talk? Can let's we, do that one. Well, yeah. Back. I mean, it's a state issue, okay. but there were things I could do to probably get federal more federal funding for it. Uh, okay. Trump actually did a few things. Go 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 go. You got this, man. Yeah, you got it. You have a whole empty you bottle. Did. I don't know why you. Uh, he pounds those things and then and then just like I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, that Dude, was a lot. The, the human bladder is a third that size. It was right. kind of a responsible amount of liquid. Right. But yeah, um, Trump's and I, I found a few articles. Of course, they don't. You'll never see it on the media, but he's done a few things uh, to release more funds to help with the VA. One of those is like release more funds so that people can go to them. You know, in the more rural areas, you could send the nurse to them. You do stuff like that, and that's that. That's so helpful, especially if you're invalid or you've yeah. got injuries. They'll they'll come to you, and I like that idea. I want to see more of that. So what was what's super interesting to me is the the difference between the difference between the states because I've I've dealt with the VA up in Washington, and I've dealt with the VA here in Nevada, and I have nothing to complain about in Washington. It wasn't until I moved here when. Um, like prescriptions that I had been using for the last four years to main, to control migraines. Like all, all of a sudden I couldn't get those filled here because it's, it's not in the system type of bullshit answers. And what I've never understood about the VA is how, how compartmentalized their information system is. So like the VA here can't look at the VA up in Washington and see oh, when did that get back on? what, what's going on. Mm-hmm. So Derek's, Derek's he, got some VA uh, uh, no, experiences so, with not getting the right foot delivered to him, type of thing. That's just how stupid. do you even? Yeah, well, like you know, so when you're like the the VA works is the same way as like um, you want universal conceal and carry. We want universal <laughs> VA. Oh, well, United want United States and what you know, yeah. it's it's one well, system. You need, but like yeah, you said, but, look at the states that are doing yeah. it right. See what they're doing, yeah. and then reproduce that in other states. It shouldn't be that hard. But so common sense these days. At a national level, like the position that you'll have, what what can be done to to force that change? Because it's extremely frustrating when you have to go and 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 
fight for something that, you know, was working for four years. And then all of a sudden you move and you're like, what the fuck? I can't get, I can't get the medicine that I need now because it's not in your system. What does that mean? It was in the system over here. Like how, how do you fix that as, as a congressman or a congresswoman to, to, to force the different VAs to just get on the same page? I feel like that's a, a very baby step to, to well, a couple of things, like I said, I, you have to look at the states that are doing it right, that are doing it well, and repeat. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe a state just doesn't realize what works and what doesn't work. And then, you know, if you got to do pamphlets, if you got to spend money re-educating them, if you've got to repeat whatever they do and, and do something like that. The other thing, which I thought was interesting, is I have a congressman friend. He had this great idea. He tried it. They didn't like it. He said, what if we put all of Congress on the same healthcare system as the VA. Oh man. Wouldn't we it. see change you really quick when you shit. got Pelosi yep. trying guys, to My leg doesn't fit right now. Um <laughs> yeah, it's like I, the, so I've the VA the, v, the <laughs> VA here, the the overall hospital experience has been great. Like mental health, they're solid and shit like that, but their prosthetics department doesn't exist. And and I was actually there at the VA when President Trump came and signed the bill like a year ago yeah, where it's like oh off. veterans can go outside the va or like all right in theory do you know what a fucking how almost impossible it is like the amount of paperwork and the coordination and and the time it takes so like my prosthetist so like there's 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 a prosthetics department prosthetist i almost thought that you said something uh, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. There's my prosthetist on Tuesdays, prostitutes on Wednesdays. But this is a Tuesday. I'm at the prosthetist. Okay, <laughs> but there's a prosthetics department here, but it's not. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a real department. So I have to go outside of it, and it makes everything take an extra mm. month. Um, and it's just, but like, but these are just yeah. Everybody. Yeah, but have you complained about that? Ooh. And I think a lot of that is, is you know how the left uses cancel culture? Like, you know, I'm like, well, what you have to do is you have to kind of make people proactive. Yeah. Tweet somebody. Tweet your See, congressman. The, the, my, your my, my, I'm a horrible advocate for myself. Like the, how the can army, people fix something right, if they don't yeah. know? You have well, to. The army, don't blame me. Blame, the army told me not to complain. You're not they the said, army But they said, so, but the, it's still in here. You, you just know, complained like, to me. Know, now yeah, you can complain yeah. to somebody I'm, else. Take it up. I'm getting better at it. And maybe, maybe I'll register to vote. Oh. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm getting. I, I'm not even my district, and I want you to vote because it's important. Yeah. Uh, no, I. You what know, district I, are you? Three. So you're like Southern Henderson. Summerlin. Yeah. Well, but, Southern Summerlin down, not the strip. There's like a little hole where the strip is, but down. So okay. Good Springs, Jeans. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, in Southern I'm in, Highlands. I'm in your district. But, so yeah. here's 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 my um my uh, uh dilemma, paradox, or something like that. Where like I don't fit Republican or Democrat. You don't I, have to. Well, but. Uh, Kind of, because if like, so if I, if, if I, I'm, I'm not, um, or like I'm pro abortion. I am. I'm just, I'm pro abortion. So if I vote for a Republican because I agree with them on all these things, but then they go and, and vote against like, those are like, you have they, to pick what's the most important at right, the end of the day. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think the left's it's fault is that they have to agree with everything or they the get all outraged. Or nothing. Yeah. What yeah. I feel like the right should be a lot more forgiving. I and mean, I get it too. People don't think I'm conservative enough because the way I talk and all this stuff. I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. care. I'm fiscally conservative. I'm pretty right. socially liberal. Socially liberal got a little crazy. Yeah. Uh, the last few years with this genders, I can't yeah, keep track no, of and like stuff like socially that. Socially liberal. But you don't have to agree on every issue. And and honestly, the chances of it going away are going to be it's hard. An important I mean, one I'm, to I'm, me. I'm anti. <laughs> abortion and i know yeah. that's an uphill battle i i think if anything the time you have to have an abortion should get shorter and shorter as technology and medical advances i want i would like to see adoption made easier yeah. i would like to see a lot but of things like yeah, that. yeah definitely adoption needs but to be why are the democrats pushing for late-term abortion and then like letting the baby die after what universe yeah, that's yeah. is that okay that's I mean, so, so when i say i'm pro-abortion like that that kind of shit's a little so bit weird you ever see, like me. woman like eight like, months like what well, is wrong with you i'm talking about like when like so my they wife and i nine months my, my that's wife a problem. my wife and i did um we did ivf and so two years ago two and a half years ago almost i learned everything about the reproduction process and like at some point they're like specs um, you know, like you get, I, I love like, when you talk about the reproductive system. Yeah. It's, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, but you know, like, yeah. So, but, but if like, he the, just learned about it. Those are big. So how do you, how do you, so, so for someone like me, Every, like, how do you convince me to vote Republican? If like, I like, that's one of the main topics and 
It's, is, is it? You have to pick. Like, what a, else? It's a big one. What about immigration? What about taxes? Are you for lowering taxes so people can invest more and and have more money? Are you? You look at all the other things. Yeah. And vote that way. If you lean, it ends up leaning right or it ends up leaning left, and that's just the way it is. And you'll just be a conservative that happens to be pro-choice. Yeah. There's nothing. I mean, even if I don't agree and, with that, and, I'm not going to throw so, a rock at you and, about and it. And you know? those exist in Congress, right? Really? Yeah. Because okay, I think a lot so, of people are afraid. Yeah. It's a scary topic. Do they vote that way or no? Because it's almost like political suicide. To you go would have to overturn something. Roe v. Wade to change it. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, I, it, it's a it's a sticky topic. Yeah. And what I always say to people is, you, personally, you need to decide when you think life starts. Yeah. Whatever it is, whether it's an embryo, whether it's a heartbeat, whether it's viable. And you have to come to the conclusion that once you believe that that's alive and living, that destroying it after that is immoral. Yeah. And that's where you draw your own line. So maybe you're a pro-choice, but you cut it off at three months. You had yeah. three months, woman. You yeah. know, something like that. You know, just find what's reasonable with you. But don't not vote Republican or not vote Democrat because one issue is off. You're right. not going to agree with everyone all the time. Yeah. You know, I, I'm a lot more socially liberal than most conservatives. I don't care what you want to do as long as it's legal and it's with someone above 18 and it's not yeah. in front of kids. That's it. You want to, you want to do some crazy stuff. That's fine. As long as it's consenting, like everything like that, but don't make demands on me. If you want to change your gender to elephant, don't tell me I need to change my language because that infringes on my rights. Yeah, I fucking hate this. I hate this new world. Like, cause like, <laughs> when 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 somebody opens a door for me, yeah, I, I I just my whole life I'm like, hey, thanks, man. And now in my head I'm like, fuck, what what fuck? Now I have to consider. Should I, can I not use that word anymore? Any you know? So any um, as, yeah, you know, it's interesting as I I as I I think as I grow, or as I you know spend more time on the earth, I think I lean more. Republican when I think people grow think you usually start off liberal and you kind of age in a conservative yeah but like you now but like the liberal I think everybody would agree like I think everybody is socially liberal it just seems like that party has gone pretty extreme you know and I, I like you know so it's like I gotta detach from that because I'm not like I'm socially liberal but I'm not fucking weak it's I'm a, and 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 like scary. Though. You have to understand there's a middle, which most people are. Most people right, are fiscally yeah. conservative, socially liberal in here. Then you start going different ways. Then you're going to find so, a conservative. You're going to find a classic liberal. Yeah. Then you're going to find the more conservatives, more traditionals. Then you're going to find, ah, oh, now you're going to get a leftist. Yeah. You know, and at the end, I'm not happy with these people either. Right. Like, yeah. you know, you've got the regressive, you know, man on pumpkin sex should be taught to children kind of leftist. And then you've got, you know, the sovereign. I'd be fine with that. No, no, no. Just, no, just, no but then, but then you've got like the sovereign yeah. citizen guy, like you're terrified of. No one wants to yeah. arrest kind of stuff. So there are two extremes. Yeah, yeah. there's there's uh, too much, yeah, too we, much government socialism. Is too, and this is what's weird. Socialism requires fascism to work. You yeah. have to rob your neighbor yeah. to make it work. Where if you keep going yeah. right, you'll find anarchy. No, and, you'll find no government. Right. Yeah. And and I don't think that's funny when they're like, oh, you guys are fascists. No, you keep going right, you find nothing. You find nuts, but you'll yeah. find. You know, you won't find. Yeah. No, I, I was going to uh, finish my thought. Like, I think I, I think I lean more towards the conservative side route or like, as I grow up and just like, you know what? I believe in personal responsibility. And I think that seems to be a big conservative. thing. Like, like, yeah. But it's so like, but I'm such a fucking, I, you know, I'm, I'm a weird guy. I like the word conservative bothered me for really? so long. Cause I'm just like, what are we trying to conserve? Cause like, we have a history of a lot of bad shit. It's like, are we, tr are we going to conserve I mean, it's the word it's, conserve. It's money. Con you conserve. Okay, conserve. yeah. So, like, I'm, I'm getting, like, I didn't say I was cool for this. I was like, it's some some bullshit that I've been working through over time. He's like, what are we trying to conserve? Witch burnings? What, what do we, what do we, well, it's the con conserving, Dude. conserving. I don't believe in a golden age. I think, I think America is better today than it was at any point in our history. And I think we only always continue to get better because everybody is, um, is, is, uh, debating it out and it seems like so yeah like you said we got these people over here and the people over here and unfortunately those are the ones we hear the loudest yes but there's so many they're loud more, minorities they're yeah and it's i think it's important Not minorities but minorities right people. sure yeah the well, number better be clear yeah. <laughs> let her campaign yeah. now yeah but here's the thing and I what think, do you mean that word has more than one meaning no i just uh, one of the things <laughs> i always say is, is you know obviously because I'm, I'm a republican i have to hear yeah. from a lot of these people yeah. They look down on you. They're judgy. They, they want me to look like Barbara Bush. I mean, it's not going to happen. Oh, if you yeah. want to win, if you want this country to win, Trump, yeah. 
we, inspired a lot of people and you have to mm-hmm. accept that maybe yeah. we're not going to agree on every issue sure. maybe they're not going to look like what they want but we're yeah. fighting for the same issues and you better join us otherwise we're going to keep losing yeah. to maniacs and yeah. and so i think there's a whole new cut it's kind of a new counter culture again like yeah. it's now you know it, it's not always the michael j fox character like with the a red real, tie like a real person like that <laughs> you could like if you can't have a beer with them why would you vote for them you know like <laughs> so that, that kind of ties into another one of your 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 points is is term limits mm-hmm. and i've i've i it, it's a huge huge thing for me i there's no reason why anyone should be in government for that long and and have power for that long um but People don't give that up. So how how do you how do you force the issue? I, I want to hear your idea on. There's two ways you can do it. First off, people want term limits. Yeah. And if people are like, well, isn't that limiting? Because it's a lim- it's not a freedom limiting thing. Look, if I do this job and I do this job well, maybe I do it for eight years, which would be the max. It'd be four terms. Uh, maybe I move on to senator. Maybe I do a good job at senator. I become governor. And if I don't do a good job at any of those things, I wash out like every other American does at their occupation. You don't get to sit in power and get more powerful and lazier and owe more people, you know, favors and just be a paperweight and have that name recognition. And now no one can beat you. You need change. And the only way you can do this with term limits. Now, how do you get them enacted? Because no, once you're in there, no one wants them. There's two things you can do. You can catch people on the way out. Because you're not going to get real establishment people to do it. But people know they're they're tired, they're done, and they're not going to win again. Get them to do it. And people have to demand that freshman congressmen add it to their platform. It's on my platform. It's plain as day. Yep. But if you, like, I won't vote for you unless you want term limits. Make them promise that. And if they end up not doing it, they bail out. Vote for someone else the next time that will. And that's how you create freshness and change and accountability. And then you just don't end up with a Pelosi who's, you know, the Chris Keeker. It's just, completely yeah. ineffective when, when yeah. you're in, was, <laughs> you know, when you owe that many people and, and those people are conflicting. And like, yeah. you just, you, that was a uh, gridlock. I was, I told Owen earlier, I, we'll, 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 we'll wrap it up here. Uh, I told <laughs> Owen, uh, I was having a conversation with a friend earlier and we were, and, um, he sent me a meme. It was a Nancy Pelosi meme. He just sent the meme, and I was like, "Hey, dude, there's two things that are so fucking big and complex that I just don't understand. One is the universe, and two is how that woman keeps her fucking job. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I think um, there are some sketchy things. I'll send you. Uh, I heard that some sketchy things happened in her primary. Interesting stuff. It's, it's an interesting. California. It's an interesting yeah. world we live in. But um, I think it's fixable. I'm an optimist. I'm an eternal optimist. So it's, it's all oh, screwed it's, up things it's, that it's I talk. I think it's fixable. Yeah. And I like to motivate people. And I think that's how you make change. You have to motivate people. Yeah. I have to be the most motivating person mm-hmm. ever, and then hire a team of other motivated people and get stuff done. I think people get it in their heads when you're common sense. People will do the common sense thing. Don't worry about it. I, I got things to do. We can't afford to do that. We have to be proactive mm-hmm. because the left is. And yeah. I'm not saying, I mean, like, not liberals, the left. The left yeah. is, is weaponized idiocy. They'll, they can make them do whatever they want if they feed them the right CNN thing. You, uh, riots. Yeah. How do you make a community burn down their own community for a pair of sneakers? Yeah. I would never. It's interesting. And so we've got a lot to change, but well, I, I think it's possible. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Like, that's the thing. I believe... In, in all of, in all, like, so much fucking hatred we see and stuff like that. It's like, oh, this is still, this is a good place. This is a, re- like, we get a lot of things right. For a lot of the things we get wrong, mm-hmm. we get a lot of things right. I've been and, to third yeah, world countries. I don't not, want this to become one. Right, I right, like yeah. it here. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you gotta, you gotta always move forward. Um, I, thank you. Oh, I know, for, we've been here, like, we'll be here all day if we don't, uh, Yeah, I know, yeah, we could sit here, t- but, um, <laughs> you gotta feed, uh. Randy. Ra- oh, oh, you gotta feed a Randy. Gotta feed a Randy. I always um, say his name funny. I don't even yeah. need to. Randy. He eats a lot. He's chicken we and tell, mushroom. Will you tell Randy that I said hi? And that like we, high or like high? <laughs> <laughs> However, do we have to fight I, now? You tell, you him I, I tell, tell him I got a, I got one slot open on my DNR. You're one what? Uh, so you, I don't hear well, so I. It's, uh, one to- one slot slot open one on my slot. DNR. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. That, uh, thank you for joining us. No, and it was a pleasure to talk me. to you. And you know what? Like earlier, you said, you know, you you you, it's your responsibility to like give information and educate people and things like that. But it's also, I think it would, it's, it's your responsibility to like in, inspire people to get up to vote. and vote. Yeah. You know, and hey, you're, make sure you're definitely, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say you won me to get, but I no, I, I really like you. You're right. I think you're right. I think it's time for me to get off my ass and, 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 
and and get up and vote. So your vote's Tuesday. Your vote's in a couple days. And then if you win that, then... General election. General election. And when is that for Nevada? November. November. Something. Oh, okay. So, it's so then you'll process. be up against Susie Lee. Yeah. For, for I mean, I got to go up against these two. Yeah. yeah. Um, if people want to uh, find you on yeah. social media and things I, like that. I think or... I ruin it for all the other Mindy Robinsons in the world. And you'll see my little blue check on pretty much every platform, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, uh, and then Mindy Robinson for Congress.com. They'll have all my issues, all my stances. And, you know, my DMs usually open. Don't be weird. Okay. Uh, yeah. No more potato <laughs> pictures. Why? <laughs> There's so many things I'll never Why? understand. Yeah. Why? Hey, you got to keep it fresh, you know? I don't if, know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, so just Mindy Robinson. Yeah. I mean, Twitter, you'll so see like a flag. It you'll look yeah. like me. Cool. Perfect. Usually it's a red lipstick. Yeah. So. All right. Awesome. Well, um, thank you. And good luck. Yes. Good luck thank to you. you. I, I really hey. like you. I hope, I hope Aww. you do well. I hope, you I hope I got you to vote. Yeah. But do I, but I, I can't make it Tuesday, but I can, if you get to November, I can re- vote in time in November. Well, you either have to register as a Republican on Tuesday or the day before. Really? Right? The same day every day. There's just different locations. They make it complicated. I can send you the link. What are those choices? Republican, Democrat, and what? Well, here's the the thing. And and I've converted a lot of libertarians and independents. I'm like, I I know what you guys are, but if you want to pick a conservative candidate for the general, you have to be a Republican. You don't have to tell anyone you are. You just, you know what I mean? It's just like one of those things where like, that's what you can do. But if you lean more left and you're independent libertarian, then by all means, register as Democrat. So you get to pick a liberal. Because there's no, so there's no third party here in Nevada. You can't register as independent. I'm not sure. I was just thinking about that. I think so it's just, just ran Democrat. as an independent and just gone all out. But, uh, you know, I, I love all right. my right. I'm going to look into it. Look I'm going to learn it. it. I need you to, I, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I need to get, I'll get off my ass and vote. It's um, mail. Well, and, now it's not mailing. You all right. you li- all you had to do was literally sit on the couch, but yeah. now you actually have to get up and go all the way down the street. Which, which we probably think is for the best. Anyways, <laughs> thank you, Mindy. I no, appreciate thank you, you for coming on the show. Me. Good luck to you. Yeah, you. cheers. And just like that, Mindy has left the building. It's not so much a building as it is my house, but the house is a building. We don't have an office. No, nope. we record in a in a room in my house. Um, that was fun. That's that was, fun. that was interesting. I, to, you know, like I, I was, I was telling her, like, I'm, I'm not a vocal person when it comes to current events and politics and things like that, but just right. because I'm quiet doesn't mean I don't pay attention. Right. And it doesn't mean I don't have my own opinions. And actually like even sometimes in conversations with Stacy, who's known me for four years, she'll be surprised. She's surprised at me sometimes about your opinion. No, about some of the things that I'm aware of. Oh, <laughs> cause, cause people just interpret it as I don't pay attention. Right. I do pay attention. Mm-hmm. It's just, I've, I used to talk without thinking. Yep. And it made me unhappy and it made a lot of people unhappy. Right. With me, I think, you know, yeah, so, yeah. but it was, but you know, um, you know, you can't, there's a time and place to talk about politics and current events and things like that. So that was fun to have her on the show. It was. Yeah. And just, and just, and, um, um, I do want to, you know, so, so, so Mindy Robinson is running for Congress in Nevada. She's on the Republican ticket she, primaries on, on the, Tuesdays. Correct. Yeah. To, to be elected to be the Republican candidate in right. the primaries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It's the part of the process, but you know what? And, um, I want to take a minute and just like, I'm not, like I said, on the, uh, 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 with her, I'm not a Republican and I do not have all these bad thoughts about Democrats. I just don't, and I don't, I didn't want it to, I don't want it to, I, you know, I think there's shitheads on both sides and a shit ton of good fucking people on both sides. And even sometimes if I don't agree with somebody's opinion on a certain topic i i i can always understand why they would they would think that and right it, and it, like if something's understandable it's understandable you mm-hmm. don't have to agree with somebody when it's understandable it's like i understand how you got to that conclusion right and i can respect that you know it's like it's the same thing man i'm not a religious guy but i understand how christians come to that conclusion you know right. so yeah that was that was fun and interesting to um to just yeah. Sit down and talk to our uh, first political candidate. Yeah, first. Yeah, and I'm and I'm and I'm. I'm yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. I get, I shouldn't be as nervous or anxious as I am sometimes to talk about big issues. Or it's difficult because you if you say the wrong thing, oh yeah, fuck, people dude. get pissed. And sometimes like I speak in thoughts, uh-huh. and I'm not afraid to say like here's my thoughts. 
But like sometimes they're just thoughts, and it's like I haven't reached a decision on yeah. this fucking line of thoughts yet. You on know, the, on the same way, I I kind of process stuff out loud, and so it it's through conversations where I'm actually kind of figuring out my my opinion on something, and so I'll have yeah. I I, I tend to avoid conversations out loud yeah. with with a lot of people. Yeah, but I really liked you know when I asked her like when I was when I was talking to her, I was like I was like hey I'm not a Republican, mm-hmm. and but whereas I agree with you on a lot of things. And I think the older I get or like my big thing that I'm really into is, is personal responsibility. Yeah, totally. And I think that's a more Republican side of the aisle Mm -hmm. thing, but it's like, I can't get on, I can't get, I can't get on board with this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not anti-abortion, you know? So it's, so, 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 so so it's just like sit down and ask her, be like, Hey, what do you say to somebody like me? I thought her response was really good. Yeah. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was, that was just, it was just fun. And nobody fucking yelled at each other or talked like she was, she was definitely like frustrated that I don't vote and things like that, you know? And, but, but not in a way like she disliked me. She's just like, she's like, Hey, come on, man. Right. And so, you know, that was, yeah, that was, that was just, that was fun to sit down and have a conversation. Um, and, uh, we'll just say thank you again to, Mindy Robinson for joining yep. us. And I you can find her on social media as such. Mindy Robinson. Sounds like she's pretty active on Twitter. I'm not active on Twitter. Are you on Twitter? No. The, not at like all. Twitter's interesting because it's just for uh, like I said, it, it's just politics and porn. Yeah. So like I have a Twitter, but I haven't tweeted since twenty fifteen. I do go on every day. <laughs> 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 you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm not there for the politics. <laughs> <laughs> there for the polished dicks you know like no uh yeah um so so that, that that'll wrap it up there the no slapper today for that one i didn't no. have a, that was a a quick interview next but, week but you know um i think these little post-show conversations will become the norm when we do interviews me and you can chat and uh yeah i kind of i like the format yeah mm-hmm. and then uh you know take a few minutes to uh to let the people know if they like the podcast want to support us support the podcast how do they do that how do they do that how do they do that well we 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 we, we do some things like what what do we what owen and i here we got this podcast but we also run derekwhited.com got the website derekwhited.com if you need training if you need if you need training programs talking workouts we got a fuck ton of good ones on there and we also like the new shit that's coming out oh man uh, next next week next week yeah i'm really excited about that I'll, I, it doesn't matter. I'll say it here. Like, so yeah. we had that the at home program that was released March first, which actually worked out because yep, two weeks after that, right, everyone everybody at home. was at home. Yeah. So, but in our format, we do twelve weeks of training at a time. Yeah. And so July first, or actually, so March, April, May, June first. We sh- we're a couple, we're a week or so late. Yep. On the release, but. So the next 12 weeks of the at-home program is ready, and it has been ready, but we s- decided to add a kids program. A kids program. Kids age 6 to 12. That's not so that, just, that not, is not just like its own little program. It shadows what you yeah. do in the adult well, program. It can, it, can go, it can go three ways. You can get the at-home program. Yep. For adults. Right. And do that by yourself. You can, if you have kids... Six to twelve, they can get the kids version of the program. Yep. Each of those individually are twenty bucks. Or you can get the thirty dollar package. You get both. Get both. And like, yeah, you know, so they do shadow each other. So you can and I it was because like you could because Declan yeah, works Declan. out by I have you. A, I have a six year old who's who's doing deadlifts and yeah. squats in the garage on his own. Yeah, and my my good friend here, his his kids are like eight and ten. And yeah. they were and he was always sending me pictures of of them joining him in his workouts. Right. And that's why I was like, man, dude, we should do. They, they can't do the whole thing, so we should do a side by side. And I think that I think it's a really cool concept. It's like teach your kids how to f- follow a program, how yeah. to follow through, right? How a to do fit program, and like there's there's discipline lessons in that, and yeah. all sorts of things, and commitment and stuff. So that's coming out. Um, all sorts of training programs, whether you're into CrossFit, um, classic training, yep. just hit. If you want to gain weight, lose weight, doesn't matter. So then we got some, some, some shirts on the website. There, got a bunch of shirts. I made for it fifteen bucks. I made it. Yeah, can't fucking beat it, dude. The quality of our shirts for fifteen dollars is fucking ridiculous. I, know. I wear like I don't like wearing 
me on is a it, shirt. Is that weird for you? Because I is. don't have any shirts with me on it. Right, it is, but they're my most comfortable yeah. shirts. Like you know, they, are. they should be more exp- like I don't like. No, they should be. And we we do that. We we decided to do the fifteen dollars shirt because it's seven dollars for shipping, and that makes the total purchase of a t shirt twenty two dollars. Yep, and that's in my price wow. range. For a T-shirt, your typical internet T-shirts are twenty-five bucks. Some of them are thirty plus plus, plus shipping. Right, I say your typical rate for yeah. a T-shirt on the internet is twenty-five dollars plus seven dollars shipping, brings that to thirty-two dollars. Fucking T-shirt over thirty dollars for a T-shirt. That's not a concert. T- I'm out. No. Sorry. Yeah. So training, fun T-shirts. Yep. DerekWhite.com. Check it out. Yeah, and if you need some protein, creatine, pre-workout, any shit like that, we also have. We got links to that on the website, but you can also go firstform.com slash Derek. One S T P H O R M dot com slash Derek. Supplements, you know, we, we we haven't done our supplement podcast yet, but where we just run through because we like do Yeah, we haven't. And it's my it's the trifecta of fitness. Yeah. And it's it's supplements. So for me, it's it, training, nutrition, and supplements. Yeah. And I wrote about this where there's no hierarchy for me. Right. There's no one that's more important than the other. And some people do fucking make a hierarchy out of that. And I'm just like, why not do those three things right? Right. You know, so supplements. I'm a supplement guy. Fucking, I believe in that shit. And yep. I, a lot of top athletes are. You know? Right. <laughs> and I think there's probably a reason for that, you know? Right. So um, I've been sponsored by First Form for five years now. Um, been slinging their shit on the internet for the five years. We actually just, I actually, I actually... Hit a, hit a million in sales. You've done a million Lifetime. dollars in sales. First That's a form. fucking hit, huge hit, hit milestone. My, yeah, dude. It, you know, it, yeah, it was, Um, yeah, we did it last month. Yeah. I just sort of sat there and quietly watched it. I thought that was cool. And I it's did. not like, yep. or it's, just, it's just cool because when you grow up without money and you're know, like, my parents aren't business people. They didn't start right. their own business. They never, they worked for people, you mm-hmm. know, my mom still works for someone. And uh, so, yeah, just to do that, to create that. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, 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 I did a million in sales. Like, you know, there's a lot of individual stories or just the business aspect. Yeah. Of it. Like it's, it's, it was cool. Yeah. yeah. So congratulations. A lot of people. So like a lot of people have been buying it. A lot of people have been buying it again. Yep. I've fucking, I only take that shit post-workout stack. If you're going to get some formula one, which is their post-workout protein, Get the CTC flavor. If you've never tried CTC, stands for Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but they can't use those words legally because right. everything's fucking patented and trademarked these days. I'm surprised I can say my own name without getting fucking sued. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's what we got. If you like us, if you like the show, that's how you can support us and support yeah. the show. And when you buy anything from DerekWida.com or FirstForum.com slash Derek, like you know what's funny is like you and I are small business America. We are because like we're, it, we're, we 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 both live in a humble house and we're just trying to <laughs> provide for Feed our family. Some hungry as yeah. kids. Mm-hmm. All these kids between the two of us, we have six six kids, six kids, two wives and six kids. That's it, man. And that's why we do what we we're do. Like a little commune. Yeah, that's well. That's you know everybody has to make a living. It's kind of like how you, how you choose to make your living. We choose to make our living by helping right. people. Um, help themselves a little bit maybe Get believe fit. in themselves sometimes yeah yeah derek that, even pulled that, the long the long con on me <laughs> i'm even getting fit <laughs> supplements now just sit back and wait and That's watch right. you know? it took him a year yeah yeah and he's like he's like oh i've been running i'm like oh, oh yeah. okay well, i'm feeling pretty and good it starts getting a little serious after like the three weeks yeah then i acknowledged it right yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was like does you feel better about that yeah. yeah so that's all we got for you guys today that's it hope you enjoyed the show Catch you next time. We love you. Cheers.